G'day folks. Well, I've done a bit of fiddling around with some RPC equipment. That's rotary phase converter. Um, there's no lead up video to this. I was just focused on trying a really simple design last night and just seeing what happened. Now, it's running at the moment, so I'm not going to touch anything and kill myself, but that motor there works. But it, I'm getting 240 volts between two phases uh, between L2 and L3 I'm getting 440 but any other combo it's 240 so it's really out of balance and I actually got that motor to the point where it was pretty hot it didn't like it one bit and wasn't wasn't running correctly um, now you can see it's disconnected and been rewired to this Barta motor which is made in Czechoslovakia in 1930 something um, it's a 220 volt delta wound motor or star or delta, you can reconfigure it using little bridge plates. That one there's permanently in star 415 volt, so that's not going to work. But this one here is just happily running away. It's been like that for a while, it's still cold. That one there is actually putting out a little bit of warmth, just idling for a minute. Not such a good sign. This one here doesn't give a shit, it's just sitting there doing its thing. It's a slightly higher horsepower too. This is 3 kilowatts. Whereas the other one's um, 1.75 or something. 1.5 kilowatts, two horsepower. That's like um, three kilowatts, that'd be two and a half horsepower or something like that. So it's a lot bigger motor. And uh, I've just shut this down. There's a little bit of warmth in the motor. I don't want to get it too hot. I already had a tiny wisp of smoke coming out the top. So I know this motor was like a swamp thing when I found it. It was really, really, really rough and the corrosion between laminations and things won't be helping its magnetic flux, but if I get some more use out of it, I'll be really happy. Uh, it's, it's never been 100% happy. It gets a lot of slip going on when running on a uh, variable frequency drive, but I don't have a replacement. It's a one-horse, two-pole Siemens model, um, 1LA3080-2AA90. 9-0. Um, it'll be a standard metric frame and shaft diameter and everything. The center height and the mounting feet will be standard. I could probably uh, get onto Metric's website and find a drop-in cheapo replacement for about a hundred bucks. I don't really want to go re-engineering the housing for a bigger motor and higher frame or anything like that. It's just not feasible with the way this thing's made. It's made very well. It's a German-built centrifugal blower. But anyway, I seem to have success. I haven't metered voltages yet. I think I need a little more capacitance considering I've gone from a two horse to a, a um, actually it'd be like, more like a three, three horsepower motor, that one, three or 3.5 horse. So I've gone up in horsepower and the diagram I was using wanted one horse or 16 microfarads, 10 to 16 microfarads per horsepower. So I don't quite have enough here. But as you can see, emulated phase is L3. That's going through there from load switch. Um, mains input should really be back here, but it's still connected through on the same copper conductors. But active is going to L1, which goes to one of the caps, goes to a momentary start switch to the start capacitor. Eventually that'll be something like this, a uh, compressor starting relay. Uh, and to motor or motor down downstairs neutral from mains 240 volt mains goes to the white wire which is L2 you can see I'm using standard color coding as well red white and blue one two and three I know there is a, that's three phase cable as well brown black and blue I think I have those two around the other way but I don't like using that code it's just that's all I've got at the moment apart from some really thick cable, but anyway, enough on codes. Um, yeah, I'll post a link to the diagram, it's just something I found on Google search, that's all, nothing special. So, yeah, it's a lot, long way to go, I'll certainly try a bigger motor if I can find one, uh, but I want it to be Delta, not, um, not 415 star, I want a 240 volt high horsepower motor to turn into a uh, RPC. And unfortunately, so far, all the big ones that I've got won't do it. They're, they're dedicated star-wound um, 415-volt motors. 
but let's try the blower. I know it's getting a little bit warm, the motor was slightly warm, but we'll give it a try. Certainly sounds different. It's a lot of noise. A lot of electrical noise. Frequency resonance, that sort of thing. Yeah. The motor does have a fan on it, but towards the front you can certainly feel warmth already. And that was typical of running it off the VFD as well. Running this at low speed off the VFD, it would still get very hot. So. Maybe it's just the nature of the motor, or it's just because it's damaged. The iron laminations and everything were badly rusted. So there's going to be some weird magnetic flux going on inside that thing. But again, it'd probably start and sound a lot better. Even though it sounds awesome, it'll probably be, probably be happier when I balance voltages. Because like I said before, I've only just hooked this motor up and tried it. And I haven't even put the multimeter across the load and the... Uh, RPC um, slave motor I guess you'd call it the one on the floor down there but it seems happy that's a good thing anyway that's uh, this afternoon's little video I know I'm not doing a step by step I'll probably do a step by step once I've got a design in concrete I want to do this properly rather than give you a bit of a bum steer from the start because again it's dangerous voltages mains voltages across pretty much everything um, yeah it's not something you want to toy with but again for somebody who's confident with electrical equipment and has the right equipment to make uh, good connections using crimp terminals and things like that or old barrier strips out of air conditioners like these ones these are just out of old condensing units um, yeah, as long as you do everything right and safely, make sure it's grounded. And this, uh, this is on a whole house RCD, so if there was a problem in the motor or any of this stuff that's connected to ground, it would actually trip out. So, yeah. As long as you do it safely, you can certainly build whatever RPC you want. I suppose it's probably no more dangerous than working on a plasma television or some other piece of industrial equipment. But, anyway. We've got to consider safety as well as utility, and uh, yeah, utility is always good. So I hope this really, I hope this works really well. I just got to balance things out a bit, and as you can see, the caps are across two of the phases, L1 and L2. So rather than just having one run cap across L3, it's actually going L1, 2, and 3 through the um, capacitors. Anyway. Thanks for watching, that's enough rambling about RPCs. Uh, thanks for watching. The blower's still alive, even though I did let a tiny amount of magic smoke out of it. But then I have done that before with electric motors and they still work today. Can't remember which one it is, but I think I've, I've got one motor around here which smoked a bit. and I think it was the big shredder motor. Yeah, that thing there, the shredder locked up on me and yeah, magic smoke came out. Don't know where it came from, but that motor doesn't give a shit. It's an old 1920s century electric repulsion motor. Or maybe 1940s, I don't know. It's, it's not the old, old pattern. Not the 1903 pattern. Oh, thanks for watching.